guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a double exposure. Alright, so to do a double exposure in camera, you have to have a camera that has that capability. I have a 5D Mark III, not two, um, and the 5D Mark III, IV, and um, higher other end cameras are able to do this in camera. So make sure first your camera can do it. And if not, we also can teach you how to do that in Photoshop, which will be in another episode coming soon. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my settings. I'm gonna show you how to set it up for um, double exposure. For Canon, it's gonna be on the third uh, menu over. So it's going one, two, and three. And then you're gonna scroll down here to multiple exposure. You're gonna click on it. It says disable, so you're gonna click your set button again. And you have a function slash control option, which means it's only for like a one time um, image. And then your second one is uh, for continual shooting. I personally keep it on this until I make sure that I know what I'm doing is what I want. So I'm gonna select that there. Okay. And then whenever I go in to take the image, I put it in a portrait, portrait style. And um, so whenever I'm taking it, you know, I'm doing, the portrait style and I make sure that the subject is going to be in front of negative space which is like really blown out white sky um, and so this way whenever I take the first image it's going to be all white on the top and the person is going to be here in the middle and whatever backspace and backdrop is down below so pretty much it's like from the shoulders like from here and up but you also make it just a little bit more so whenever you do the second image, it's gonna fill that in with whatever texture you're using. I prefer to use foliage like greens, bouquets, flowers, anything like that. Um, and so once I take the first image and it has all the negative space on top and my subject, I then flip the camera over on the other side, okay? So it's flipped over, it still is trying to work on everything, the screen is gonna be black, so it's waiting for you to take the next, the next picture. And so you're going to take, you know, your backdrop, kind of like, you know, the trees or the foliage, and you're gonna put it in the same negative space. And so when you take that image and you're doing it at the same level, so you're gonna only put like maybe like a, like a, a third of it into the negative space and the rest of the bottom is kind of gonna be the backdrop where the cutoff is. So this way, now you have the first image, white space, the negative space is at the bottom. And then when you're getting, get done taking this picture, that negative space is gonna be top. So when this image is done, when you're done taking that one, that, that second image, um, you're gonna see the image pop up here on screen. And it's gonna be, you're gonna see a little bit of, um, little bit of foliage on both sides, but you'll be able to clean that up in Lightroom really easily. 